Daddy. Now you're trying to hide. You're so proud of your socks and sandals. Now you're trying to hide. Where did you get them from? Oma. I got the socks and the sandals from Oma. So you're wearing them and you're owning them, even though there's like, it's like five it's degrees out here. Feels good. And, um, the cool kids wear socks and sandals to school, and this is your guys' first class for the day, isn't it, all the time? And Noelle is feeling better. She was sick yesterday. We never put that on the camera. And it was what? It was poopy. It was too poopy. Okay. Oh. Good morning. Today, after I um, get all of the little chores that I need to get done I need to go out I'm just heading out into the pasture to uh, check for that 11c and her calf and there's a few other young calves but along with that um, I wanted to take you guys along to show um, what uh, seeding looks like I was going to jump in the tractor with Uncle Kelly I know that Uncle Helmet in Germany he has been interested and I know he was always interested in farming so I thought if I have the time if all goes well that we'll jump in there and I'm sure that that will interest you um, also um, just just for some information we farm around 1500 acres um, that's including all the land that we rent and, and everything that way and um, custom work and we're actually a really small farmer um, in this area most a lot of um, farmers are doing around that are making a go of it are doing around 10,000 acres but 1500 acres um, I know in Germany you guys don't use acres it's hectares I, I uh, figured it's around 600 hectares so um, just so you guys kind of know uh, area that we're farming um, and I'm thinking that we have we're about halfway um, got got all the seed in the ground already which is a good thing it's been good weather for seeding but we're going to need rain and um, but anyways I'll take you along on this little uh, adventure today if all goes well so stay tuned <music>
Grandpa, can you tell us, Uncle Helmet in Germany, why you spray before you seed? Really? <laughs> okay. Well, the gates. <laughs> uh, no, we spray this one here is uh, about 33 meters wide, maybe 34 meters. And we spray to kill all the weeds. Everything that's green goes away. It's like cultivation, only it's much faster. And in our dry uh, country, we don't lose moisture by spraying. So you want to kill everything first so that it gets a new, the new growth. There's no weeds in there. No competition. No competition. Okay. Heading in for lunch here and... Um... I just was in the shop and uh, doing a tire repair and um, just finished welding up. It's cooling down there, welding up a pin for a customer's unit. They're fixing that this afternoon, but I um, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed our seating. Um, something that, uh, that I wanted to mention here is that every, seat, every kernel that goes in the ground counts. And uh, it's no different when we uh, when when we go out and we share the good news, and when we actually just do good deeds. Um, it doesn't say in uh, God's word that we have to do good deeds to inherit the kingdom of God, but once we uh, do inherit the kingdom of God, um, <laughs> I'm just getting another phone call here. I'm going to have to take it from. Uh, from the neighbor but we got fertilizer here and all those seeds god is like our fertilizer i'm going to take this call so it doesn't really surprise me the phone call that i just got from the neighbor um it's exactly what we've been talking about and i i've been hoping that my neighbor will see christ in me um like i said i love my neighbors we Back in the branding edition, we talked about that. But this fertilizer here we were talking about, we, we would have seen us fill fertilizer today and we put on more fertilizer. The tank's bigger on the drill for fertilizer. And fertilizer just kind of was, this is what was kind of turning in my heart today. Um, the seeds, we plant the seeds and that's all what we can do. And we let everything else do its own. It's like letting God, uh, when we plant seeds in other people's heart, we let God do the rest of the work. So our job is to put the seed in and to put the seed in properly. That, and, and God will do the rest of it, right? The sun comes up and photosynthesis happen. I, I said that wrong. But, um, but then Jesus is like a fertilizer in our, in our life. When we get enough fertilizer, he'll put a spread enough fertilizer on there. And that's when we really start to grow and transformation really starts to happen. So I brought a little fertilizer home. I spread it on the, on the lawn last night before uh, dark because the sprinklers come on in the morning. We're praying for rain, but that's God. That's in God's doing again. So um, j just a couple things that have been on my heart. I'm sure there's going to be some scripture that comes on my heart as well. But uh, Christ is the... We, we talked about that, the living water, and I'm going to head in for lunch, and uh, we'll take you along after lunch if there's anything that's going to go on, so stay tuned. Here this morning, grab a put her in here. Said you would face the gate, so he locked her in the grill when she got in there. You can see a little hole back here. She pushed the porch, you almost got out. We're gonna repair that here right away. Yeah, just off the drink. So, back here.
your camera, but they're here. And the kids are both sitting right here. We got the garbage can on the side. They're coming. You guys got, you guys got the bill. Drove over the bag about a quarter full already. And we've only gone, we've almost got a mile. This road allows up here is a mile. But we do, I forget what happened that We do somewhere around 20 miles. We're going to stop up here. This score. So it's supper time now, and we're just, uh, Dad and Kelly went back to the house for supper, and I'm heading up to the my place to have supper with Renata and the kids, and uh, we're all ready to load fertilizer again. We're changing seed. We were just finished seeding the rest of the spring wheat. And uh, after supper, we'll continue on uh, seeding. But uh, Grandpa was mentioned to us why we kill off all the bad weeds before. And it's kind of like when you, uh, we are talking about that transformation when we accept Jesus into our heart. The first thing that we got to do is we, we have to get rid of all the bad weeds in our life, right? Um, in order to have the transformation. So we got to kill off all the bad weeds, all of the bad habits. And then the seed that is planted, we got to let that seed grow. And we got to let Jesus um, fill our heart and let him fertilize our heart so that we can grow and that we can excel at a rate that God knows what is best for each one of us. So for some of us, he might give us a little more fertilizer in our heart at once. For others, maybe a little less. But he knows what we can handle. He knows the works that, that we can do. He's going to call us to do works. And our job when he's in our heart is to be obedient. And that's when true joy comes and life to the fullest. That's when you're baptized in the Holy Spirit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, but hope, hopefully in Germany you guys enjoyed us uh, coming along as we were seeding today and the other little things I had to do a service on the on the power wagon and um, the other little jobs that still need to continue to happen on the ranch but um, we'll try to make some more videos for you guys and uh, we will say good night see you later no. No. your beard is coming in nicely A nice beard. Is that a goatee? No, a goatee just goes around the. And they don't have shirts. And they have goat legs. I knew you get all your good oh looks God. from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit down and eat, okay? Thank you.